students of Stretch Standard. Let us see the next topic of Chapter 7. It is a representation of AC voltage and AC current by phasor method. How the AC voltage and AC current can be represented by phasor. What is phasor? So actually this phasor is nothing but a vector. It is a vector of voltage, vector of current, which rotates about the origin with an angular frequency omega. So in xy plane, that is along x axis and y axis, between them there is angle is 90 degrees. If voltage is there, then this voltage vector can go on rotating about origin, but in x y. If there is a phasor of current, then this current vector go on rotating above the origin in x y plane. So thus phasor is nothing but a vector either of voltage quantity or of current quantity which rotates above the origin with angular frequency omega. If I say angular frequency is equivalent to angular speed, if it is 2 pi radian per second, then in one second it will complete one rotation. If it is 4 pi radian per second, then it will complete two rotations in one second. So depending on angular frequency, which is equivalent to angular speed, the vector of voltage or vector of current can go on rotating about origin in xy plane. Now to show the phase relation between AC voltage and AC current in AC circuit. This AC circuit are always be with different circuit elements like resistor, inductor, capacitor. With different circuit elements, we have to use the notion of phasor. For an AC circuit with only resistor, source of AC voltage connected with resistor, the phasor of current and phasor of voltage are going to be rotating at the same time with same angular speed and from the same initial location, because of which always they are in phase. So for an AC circuit with only resistor, the current and voltage are always be in phase. In phase matlab, voltage ka jitna phase, itna hi current ka phase. Voltage ka agar yaha pe phase 2 pi hai, to current ka bhi phase 2 pi ka. Voltage ka phase pi pi 2, to current ka bhi phase pi pi 2 ka. But at TCB any moment pe. And that's why the phase difference between the voltage and current is zero. Like it is liye for an AC circuit with only resistor. Thereafter, we have to see the phasor diagram. For such an AC circuit having only resistor R, the phasor diagram for voltage and current for an AC circuit with resistor R only will be as shown in figure A and figure B. So this is a figure A, this is a figure B is there. Actually, the voltage is given by the equation V equal to Vm sin omega. That's why the voltage goes on changing periodically according to sine constant. So this is the graph of voltage versus omega. And because of current and voltage having the same phase, current is also be changing sinusoidally according to sine function. That's why this is the graph of current versus omega. So at any moment when your voltage becoming maximum, current becoming maximum. At any time when current becoming zero, voltage becoming zero. When any time, again in the reverse direction, the voltage becoming maximum, current becoming maximum. When current becoming zero, voltage becoming zero, it means what? This voltage and current are in phase. But current value is somewhat less than that of voltage. And that's why this peak voltage is more and peak current is slightly less. So these are the two graphs of voltage versus omega t and current versus omega t. This dotted line graph shows current versus omega t. This continuous line graph shows voltage versus omega t as you can see here. Then from this we want to find the voltage phasor curve. So abhi yaan pe x y x x y plane. This is x axis, this is y axis. And here the vector can go on rotating like this one in x y plane. So you can see that at any time t1. If I say this time T1 is supposed to be equal to less than 0 0.25 seconds. Because if I accept omega is 2 pi radian per second, what does it mean? 
in one second it will complete one rotation. That means in one by four second it will complete so one fourth rotation. And one fourth rotation मतलब कितना angle cover करेगा pi by four. तो ये मैंने time लिया है one by four यानी point twenty five second से भी कम. हो सकता है वो point ten second, point fifteen second. तो कोई भी एक time वो कैसा है less than zero point twenty five second. तो उस time t पे ये आपको मिलेगा omega t one मतलब somewhat angle lying between zero degree and pi by two. And correspondingly, now if I draw this is a vertical line, then you will get the vertical components of current in voltage. तो यहाँ से ये वाला vertical components of current और यहाँ से आपको ये वाला vertical components of voltage. तो these vertical components are for current is I equal to I m sine omega t one and V equal to V m sine omega t one. तो ये है phasor of current, ये है phasor of voltage. They are in same direction because they are having the same phase. So this I equal to I m sin omega t1 and V equal to V m sin omega t1 are the vertical components of phases of voltage and current at any time t1. And thus you can say that the phases of voltage and current for resistor circuit are in same direction. That is the phase difference between voltage and current is G. When the phases are rotating with angular frequency omega, then the curves which can be obtained as shown in figure. So this is the topic of representation of AC voltage and AC current by phasor. Now come to the next most important topic which can be asked in board exam. Obtain the equation of current for the source of AC voltage connected with inductor only. So here, this is the topic AC voltage applied to an inductor. You can see the diagram. This is a source of AC voltage. This is an inductor which is connected with each other. This plus, minus, minus plus. So this plus minus is for first half cycle. And this minus plus is for second half cycle. That means for the first half cycle, the left side terminal is positive, then right side terminal is negative of voltage. For second half cycle, left side terminal is negative and right side terminal is positive. So automatically the current direction will also be changed during this first half cycle and second half cycle. For the first half cycle, the current will flow supposed to be in anti-clockwise direction. Then for the second half cycle, the current will flow in clockwise direction. And this may go on repeating after every one complete cycle. So now, applying the Kirchhoff flow to this circuit, one voltage, one circuit component, that's why you can write, it is V minus capital L into dA by dt equal to zero. What is this minus L dA by dt? As you know for resistor, potential difference is I into R. Similarly, for inductor, the potential difference between its two ends is minus L into dA by dt. And that we have studied, and negative sign is due to Lenz's law. So for AC voltage, voltage is V. And for inductor, the potential difference between its two ends is minus capital L into dA by dt. Where minus capital L into dA by dt is self induce the EMF, where capital L is inductance of an inductor and therefore we can write capital V will be equal to what L into dA by dt. We are interested in getting the equation of current, so we write dA by dt equal to Vm, V ki jaga, constant value of voltage, so Vm sin omega t upon L is there. Now we will integrate this equation, then we get the equation of current. So as we have seen last, just in earlier point, di by dt equal to vm sin omega t upon f. So in that equation, current i is the function of time. So be remember, this is not a constant current because this is AC circuit. In DC circuit, at every moment, the current flowing through the circuit remains constant. But in AC circuit, the current value goes on changing with time. That's why in this equation, current i is the function of time. Whose slope that is di by dt is sinusoidally changing quantity with same phase as that of the voltage and its amplitude. So, what is the equation? di by dt equal to Vm sin omega t upon capital L. So, Vm upon capital L, what is the is the current ka amplitude. So, its amplitude is given by the Vm upon capital L is there. Integrating the above equation with respect to time. 
तो इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ डी आई बाई डी टी इक्वल इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ वी एम अपॉन कैपिटल एल इन टू साइन ओमेगा टी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू डी तो वी एम इज कॉन्स्टेंट एल इज कॉन्स्टेंट कम आउट साइड तो वी एम बाई कैपिटल एल इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन ओमेगा टी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू डी टी बट यू नो इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन ओमेगा टी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू डी टी इज माइनस कॉस ओमेगा टी अपॉन ओमेगा सो हियर फाइनली यू कैन राइट आई इक्वल टू माइनस वी एम अपॉन ओमेगा एल कॉस ओमेगा टी प्लस सी But what is c? C is the constant of integration, and this constant of integration is time is time independent. Time independent that means it does not depend on time, and as it is does not depend on time, its value is zero. So where c is constant of integration and it is time independent, not time dependent. It is time independent, so its value is zero. So substituting c equal to zero, we have i equal to minus v m by omega l into cos omega t. But now we replace this minus cos omega t in the form of the sine function. So we use the trigonometry. Now cos omega t equal to sine pi by 2 minus omega t. As you know, cos 30 equal to sine 60. So sine 60 can be written as equal to what? The 90 minus of 30. That means cos 30 is equal to sine 90 minus 30. That means sine 60. So same way, cos omega t 30 ke bande niya. तो कॉस ओमेगा टी इक्वल टू साइन ऑफ फाइव बाई टू माइनस ओमेगा टी बट वी नो द साइन फंक्शन इज ऑट फंक्शन नाउ इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई बाय माइनस वन ऑन बोथ द साइड तो माइनस कॉस ओमेगा टी इक्वल टू क्या होगा माइनस साइन फाइव बाई टू माइनस ओमेगा टी साइन को नेगेटिव साइन को अंदर ले लो तो आपको क्या मिलेगा साइन ऑफ ओमेगा टी माइनस फाइव बाई टू इट मीन्स माइनस कॉस ओमेगा टी इक्वल टू साइन ओमेगा टी माइनस फाइव बाई तो रिप्लेस इन दिस माइनस कॉस ओमेगा टी इन दिस इक्वेशन You get the equation of current I equal to Vm by omega L sine omega t minus pi by two. अब आपको ये ऐसा क्यों करना पड़ा? Because we know the voltage goes on changing according to sine function, so you have to obtain the equation of current also goes on changing with sine function. That's why the current I is equal to Vm by omega L sine omega t minus pi by two. Replacing this Vm by omega L by the value of I m, which is the maximum current. So V M by omega L is equal to I is maximum current. So final equation of current flowing through the inductor circuit is I equal to I M sine omega T minus pi by two is the equation of current is there. Then now here, what is this omega L? So omega L is equal to capital X suffix capital L is equal to what inductive reactance. So inductive reactance मतलब ये भी एक प्रकार का resistance ही है. बराबर लेकिन किसके लिए इंडक्टर के तो ओमेगा एल इक्वल एक्स एल इज कोल्ड इंडक्टिव रिएक्टेंस लाइक रेजिस्टेंस दैट्स व्हाई द यूनिट ऑफ ओमेगा एल यानी यूनिट ऑफ एक्स एल बी द सेम एज दैट ऑफ यूनिट ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस यानी इट इज ओ सो इट्स डायमेंशनल फार्मूला ऑफ इंडक्टिव रिएक्टेंस बी द सेम एज दैट ऑफ द डायमेंशनल फार्मूला ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस सो एम1 एल स्क्वायर टी रेज टू माइनस 3 ई रेज टू माइनस 2 नाउ एज वी नो इन एनी रेजिस्टिव सर्किट The resistance is controlling the current flowing through it. Same way, an inductive reactance limits, i.e., yani controls the current in purely inductive AC circuit in the same way as the resistance controlling the current in AC circuit with resistance. Then, XL is equal to omega, where omega is 2 pi F, 2 pi F, so 2 pi F is there. So here 2 pi is constant. So we can write this XL is directly proportional to value of inductance. More be the value of inductance, more be the inductive reactance, and XL is also directly proportional to F. What is F? F is nothing but the frequency of AC current. Frequency of AC current means जो AC generator से AC voltage generate होता था, उसमें जो PQRS coil rotate होती थी, वो PQRS coil की frequency कितनी? वो है. So F is the frequency of AC current is there. From an equation of current, I equal to I m sine omega t minus pi by two, and voltage V equal to V m sine omega t. Now we can say about the phase difference. So, the voltage ka phase at any time kitna hai omega t. Current ka phase usi time pe kitna hai omega t minus pi by two. मतलब ये जितना है उसमें से pi by two कम. तो किसका phase कम है? Current का phase कम है. Compared to voltage कितने value से pi by two value of voltage से. तो जो कम है तो क्या कहेंगे सो वी कैन से दैट द करंट आई इज लैगिंग बिहाइंड द वोल्टेज इन फेज बाय पाई बाय टू रेडियन 
current I. We remember this is most important statement. Current I is lagging behind the voltage in phase by pi by 2 radian. It means what? Jab current ye hai, jab ye hai. Now you can understand this is from the graph. So here I have drawn the graph, phasor diagram is there. So this kind of the continuous line is showing the voltage versus omega t because V equal to Vm sin omega t. So this continuous line is showing the graph of voltage versus omega t. Jabki yaha par current bhi kis tarah se chinyo ta hai sine function yam ka bhi. Lekin jab yaha pe voltage ka jitna phase hai usme se pi by 2 kam. To ye 0 me se pi by 2 kam matlab yaha pe. To yaha pe jab voltage ka phase pi by 2 to current ka phase 0. Yaha pe jab voltage ka phase pi to current ka phase pi by 2. Yaha pe jab voltage ka phase ye 3 pi by 2. To current ka phase is only pi. यहाँ पे the voltage का phase two pi तो current का phase three pi by two it means what जब यहाँ पे voltage maximum होता है तब current zero होता है जब यहाँ पे current maximum होता है तब voltage zero होता है it means what the voltage becoming maximum और voltage reaches to its maximum value voltage reaches to its maximum value later than that sorry the current reaches to its maximum value Later than that of the voltage by one fourth of periodic time. By one fourth of periodic time. Jab yaha pe current maximum, to voltage zero. Yaha pe current zero, to voltage maximum. To dono ke bich ka phase difference pi by two. Pi by two is equivalent to kitna? One fourth rotation. One fourth rotation. So you can say that the current reaches to its maximum value later than that of the voltage by one fourth of its periodic time. Then from this here again, at any time t1, I select this is the time t1, so corresponding with the angle is omega t1. So, yaan se vertical line, voltage axis ka, vertical component de dega, yaan se vertical line, so current ka aapko vertical component de. So, yaan se ye jo mila, wo aapko milega phasor voltage, aur yaan se ye jo mila, wo aapko milega phasor of current. Aur in dono ke beech ka voltage phasor and current phasor ke beech ka angle pi by 2 hai. So, this is the phasor diagram of voltage and current for an inductive circuit V equal to Vm sin omega t1 and I equal you can write at the time current is Im sin omega t1 minus pi by 2. Now let us see the next topic. Obtain the value of the average power supplied to an inductor. Average power supplied to an inductor. Now instantaneous power supplied to an inductor at any time t is given by the product of current, AC current and AC voltage. That Pn is equal to I into V. So current I, AC current is given by Im sin omega t minus pi by 2. AC voltage is given by Vm sin omega t. So you can write Im Vm into sin omega t into sin omega t minus pi by 2. We replace this sin omega t minus pi by 2 by the value of minus cos omega t. And at the same time we multiply by 2, divide by 2. So this can be written as minus Im Vm upon 2 into 2 sin omega t cos omega t. According to mathematics this is 2 sin theta cos theta equal to sin 2 theta. So this can be written as minus Vm Im by 2 into sin 2 omega t. But we are interested in calculating of average power. Therefore, the average power Pn equal to the average of minus Im Vm by 2 into sin of 2 omega t equal to the average of any constant value remains same for a one complete cycle. So we can write this is minus Vm Im by 2 into average of sin 2 omega t. But we remember average of sine function over a one complete cycle is always 0. So average of sin 2 omega t over a one complete cycle is always 0. Therefore, this average power supplied to an inductive circuit is minus 
आई एम वी एम बाई टू इंटू जीरो तो आंसर इज जीरो दिस एवरेज पावर सप्लाई टू एन इंडक्टर ओवर ए वन कंप्लीट साइकिल इज जीरो दैट मीन्स एवरेज पावर कंज्यूम्ड बाय दिस इंडक्टर ओवर ए वन कंप्लीट साइकिल इज जीरो तो इवन दो पावर इज जीरो करंट इज फ्लोइंग and at this time which will be the current is flowing is said to be what the wattless current so at this time the current is flowing in the circuit is said to be the wattless current is there current hai lekin current mein power nahi that means it is wattless current is there and how it is so we see the explanation of this point because of power is zero current is flowing and that current is wattless current so how the current flow can be maintained in an inductor even though the average power supply to an inductor is zero that we see later on